Hello and welcome to Lucas Oil Raceway, also known as IRP, Indianapolis Raceway Park. And we're in the B Open series today, doing some Xfinity racing. And I'm very, I'm very unfamiliar with this track. I think the only time I've ever raced here was in a Silver Crown back when uh, Nick had his series that he would do, uh, his time slot, green flag, green flag. where the viewers would come in okay, here comes your first and race. Flag. And believe it or not, something tells me this does not drive the same as a Silver Crown. <laughs> so, I'm not sure how good I'm going to be at this. We'll give it our best shot. But I, uh, I really am enjoying this track. It's a cool track, for lap. sure. It races very uniquely. The way you have to run the high side kind of reminds me of Darlington, which is very interesting. But it's not really much like Darlington in any other way, other than the fact you want to ride up high. Uh-oh. 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 Nailed it. That's how you want to enter the corner. You want to make sure you're drifting halfway through, and that'll get the car slowed down so you More can... Flag. No, I'm joking. Please don't do that. No one should do that ever. Including me. I just tried to get too much there. So. <laughs> At least my first lap was apparently decent. Like I said, I'm not sure what to expect here. The, uh... Pit entry is very interesting as well. This is a very interesting track, just all in all, all, all over. I'll go ahead and do a practice pit stop here. Watch your speed. Sure, that's pretty good. So you have to like come and use this little access area over here. It's not even an access. I mean, it is an access road, but then it's also. <laughs> I don't know. It's just. It's pretty strange. I'll just say that. I mean, you see it. Camera already. So, very interesting uh, track. I can see why people are saying, hey, bring this to NASCAR. We want, or, you know, the Cup Series and stuff. We want to see more of this. And I do too. This is pretty cool. But of course, it's, uh, we already have an Indianapolis race at the Brickyard. Road course or otherwise. So, that's probably why they don't have this one, in addition to other reasons, but it might make it an uphill battle to bring it here, but that's too bad, because this is a pretty interesting little place here. 0.69 miles. Even the length of it is different. It's not a half mile, it's not a mile, it's somewhere in between. So we were waiting on just a couple of people. This number set I swear, is that the same number seven that wasn't in one of my races earlier that signed up but didn't show up? Maybe not. Maybe it's someone else. I don't know why I'm thinking that's the same person, but it's someone else earlier in an earlier race. Sign up, but not actually be here. So, got the 9 and the 12 we're waiting on. Not sure if they're doing laps or not. 12. Yeah, not sure. But, uh, okay. Sure. We've got a decent lap, and as of right now, we're starting on the outside, which, hey, that's good with me. I also just realized I didn't uh, change my tape or anything. I don't think I wanted to anyway, because I'm trying to get used to how this car drives to begin with, and uh, I'm not sure how much it would matter on a track this small, but might have gained a little bit of time doing that. Probably would have gained a little bit of time not messing up my second lap, too. That probably would have helped. At least I didn't get an X for it. The wall kind of helped me straighten it out, and it also was soft enough to tap it didn't give me any damage or whatever or any uh, incident so seems like we got a we didn't have too much participation i'm not sure if this is single split or not but we might end up getting some crashes hopefully we'll be okay i just kind of want to make it through this one and uh, learn this track a little bit more because um like i said not too familiar with it. Outside, I assume, is probably where we want to be, though. Seems like outside line is the preferred line. 
another unique aspect of this track. So, I think we're on the right side here. Literally, we're on the correct side, and we are on the right side. I think that number three maybe jumped in and then forgot to change the tape back. <laughs> it looked like they were here, and then they left, and then came back again. So, thankfully for them, they were able to get in, or they missed the start. It looks like that should be everybody. Maybe. Maybe people in the back still need to jump in. Run up here is ready. If you're faster than me, I'll be going low and out of your way. Please don't do anything stupid too. Okay. Got someone in the back. Maybe they're just learning as well. I mean, the low place, the low side's where to go. This track, so they got that figured out. We're gonna see them. Oh, there they are. Wait, no, that's not them. There they are. Uh, 16. Okay. So I guess they expect uh, people to be coming up on them. Be a little awkward getting out of this place, uh, this pair road with the access road. Oh no, here we go. We can come off this way. Oh, boy, that's bumpy. Oh my god. That was really bumpy. And we're back. Over here. The front. Doing all kinds of new stuff today. I did my first late model race just before this at Oxford Plains. That was very cool. And then uh, this isn't my first time at IRP, but it is like the second time here. And uh, first time in a stock car. So this is a lot of new to me. I'm still relatively new to sim racing in general. It's a... Uh, one left to green. Something I need to remind myself of, and like I just started doing this for real last year, so there's lots of new situations I uh, can experience all the time, new tracks, new cars, all that good stuff. No idea how passing even works here. I can imagine there's probably some slide jobs, which is kind of scary, but we'll see how it how it goes. Get ready. Hopefully, we'll get a good ready. jump here. Okay. okay. Inside. Clear. Car inside. I drove the exit a little bit there. Go oh, you high. don't have Go high. Uh, a little low by accident. Go high. I don't really want to be fighting, but I'm on my preferred Keep line, high. so they can hang out there all they want, I guess. Stay high. Clear inside. That figured out. The leader has just done a now in third. Third. No idea how to save tires at this facility. Leader got a little loose. Oh, leader's really loose. The next card, the leader. Oh my goodness. That was wild. Looks like they had it saved and then they just kept getting squirrely. About my fuel window. It's interesting. Breaks hard as I'm entering and uh, make it around. It's pretty tough. Tough racing. Getting around here. Maybe it's just uh, that I'm new to it though too. When I uh, did some practice and I looked at my tires, they were 96, 96 on the rights. It was good to see. Makes me feel that maybe the uh, tires will wear pretty evenly. So that wasn't that long of a run, of course. Yeah, 
have the number nine we're coming up on already. I must have had some trouble. Maybe a half spin or something. Got one wreck and one pick. All right, and a wreck. Single file. Closed. Pit road is closed. Right. Zero point seven gallons. Zero point seven gallons. That makes me think that we can make it to the end on fuel, but is it still calibrating? Behind car number four. My last race, we went green the uh, for 117 laps and then had a green light checker to blue. Oh, that sounds terrible. I was leading the whole time left. Yep. I'm not coming in too early. Zero point six gallons. Last one I was in, we had like an 80 green lap deal. It was pretty fun. Well, that's good to hear that it sounds like it's pretty clean. Clean racing. Zero point five he just busted gallons. loose. I'm not too concerned about fuel, but I might as well save it while I can. In case it does become a concern. Yeah, 13 there just kind of caught the wall and then looped it. It happens at this track more often than not, that's for sure. This kind of just gives me something to do during the caution, too. Something to entertain myself. Just roll around. <laughs> Zero point five gallons. Yeah, Bob, if you catch me when we get strung out here and you're faster than me, I'll just let you by. I'm not racing real hard here right now. Pit Road is closed right now. Neither am I. I'm still waiting Pits for my tires to come in. Sounds like a good group of patient drivers. Yep, copy that. We're going to be on the inside this time, so that's going to be a different challenge. 0 0.3 gallons. This fuel could come in later. I don't know. Set up. As usual, I got my setup from OSR. It was just one option this week, and it didn't look like they had any past options. I don't think this uh, car's been here very often, if at all. I'm sure it has at some point, but there were no setups. There was just the setup, one just go. the one. The on That's all I needed. Seems decent enough. Power spin. I think we're good. Eh, maybe a little bit. I'll have to watch out, especially if we're in the corner. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Got the outside back, that's cool. So much off throttle time here. Feels like you really could save a lot of fuel. That lap time was twenty three point zero. Tight, Max said. I think I was a little too low on the track. I'm almost definitely driving in too hard. I think I need to take it easy a little bit. You got loose and I got loose. Outside. Still there. Clear outside. Didn't really get much practice outside. driving down here, I'll tell you that. Outside, clear. P4. That, that uh, seam, that'll kill you, I guess. 
Don't hit that. No touch to eat the seam. You know the banking changes there, so that's probably a big reason why. I mean, uh, it's got like, that's why you want to run the high side. The high side's got the higher banking, right? So I think maybe that's why the messes with the car so much. Just trying to get in a rhythm. It doesn't feel like I'm doing it quite right. I feel like I'm maybe driving the car wrong, but uh, it feels not too bad. A little bit of a frame drop. We're okay though. Like the moody skies. The lap time was at 23. We need more uh, variable weather. It seems like it's sunny too often. We have too many sunny days. It needs to be cloudy more often. That's not even uh, just because I'm like, oh, I want more grip. Time was at be cool. I try to be cool. Like I just like the way it looks. I like the moody, cloudy days. So no idea if I'm saving tire or what. Driving them off. Really don't know. Enough experience here to know. You just I probably don't want to hit the wall. But I sure did get close there. My lap times are falling off pretty bad. You're pulling away. The gap behind is now 0.9. That lap time was 23.1. 0.2 gallons. 0.2 gallons. I think by the end of this one we'll have enough fuel to make it to the end. There's no reason to pit or anything, even for tires, because to get back to where I was, it would use up way more than the, what we used up to that point when the caution came out to get back to where I was, so the track position was much more important. So we'll see. We'll see where the tires take us. I'm just driving my line. I don't know anything I don't know anything different. Not at this track. So but we're gonna find out if I'm driving it wrong. Might go and pull the brake bias back at some point, but right now it feels pretty good. That got sideways a little bit. That was a new feeling. Not sure if I expected that. Started getting uh, loose like this part way through the uh, exit of the corner. That was a new one. It's fun though. Good track. Good, good track. Your lap time was it doesn't even feel like I'm racing a short track, really. It's because we were on like the high side, but it, it would be considered a short track, I assume. 0.69 miles. We're on the high side on this guy. Clear. Makes it easy, thankfully. The gap to Bok ahead is now 1.4 seconds. Just done at 23.1. 16, he's the guy that said he was going to be low on the track. It's pretty loose, it's pretty like slick down there. So, uh, hope they're able to keep a handle on it. So little banking. Got a little bit close to me, it's scary. <laughs> We're fine.
really remind me of Darlington the way you drive it. The track itself isn't really like Darlington, but the way you drive it. Up by the wall, like that. You have to hit the brakes pretty good. Reminds me of it. A little bit hard there. We're fine though. Two ahead looked like they got really close to the wall. I'm not sure if they got it or not, but they were pretty close. I'm doing like a dino. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. What happened? What are we talking about? I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about. I've touched the wall. The gap to Bok ahead is now 1.2. Could be something to uh, dive in it a little harder and lower. Oh, I didn't do it there right though. Yeah, kind of just drove in too hard. Just straight up bad. I'll do that. <laughs> bad idea, bad idea. Mayday, mayday. Bad driver alert. Just wanted to try something because we're not really doing much catching up. <laughs> Doesn't seem like. I enjoy trying new things, trying to find speed. It's a part of the fun for me. Watching that green bar on the top, see if it's, uh... We're learning anything, how to be faster. Kind of okay with how the brake bias is right now. It pulls me to the left pretty good when I get on the brakes. I don't know if I really necessarily need any more. Not at this point, anyway. Sideways there. What's going on up there? Cars giving trouble to the lead lap cars, maybe something? Sure. We got people in the wall. It's scary. The guy seems like he's all over the place. He's 15. Thank you, Sergeant. You've just done a 23.4. The captain's in bomb. The is now 0.7. Still confused watching 15 right leg left hard. Clear. Dean's in the way, I guess. What are you doing? He's like breaking on the straightaway. I think he's just new. Uh, yikes. We well, made it, at least. And we cut the two because of it. I think he's faster than us, though, so I don't expect uh, to make a pass or anything like that. He was the guy that was in front of us, right? Not someone else. So, just wondering for a second if he got caught he so bad by the lap car, he was actually in second, and now he's back here. So, clear in the case, though. Yeah, he's faster. And match him. Not quite there, though. Oh, this is great. Lots of green flag racing. Nice, uh, challenging track as I almost get in the wall. Ian's blocking the preferred line. In the wall. Yikes. Time 
Freaking a little sooner now that the tires are getting a little older. And there she goes. Uh oh, spin. Caution. We're not enjoying this. Your last lap time was at 23.5. Wheels popping, I'm pulling off the desk as usual. Just can't get it tight enough. My desk isn't a very good fit for the clamp here because my desk is really thick, so it barely fits on there to begin with. So tightening it doesn't even really work very well. Glad I've never had a situation where it completely fell off the desk while I'm racing. Now back when I used the controller, I did have a situation where it disconnected while I was racing. That was fun. I used to use controller uh, back in 2013 and 2016, the two other little stents that I uh, did iRacing. It's in high school and then college. Or around college age. Something around there. But, uh... And then I came back 2020 and did controller for a little bit until I realized that it was putting me a huge disadvantage. I mean, I knew it all along, but uh, it was a bit too much and I couldn't do controller anymore. So, uh, I invested in a wheel, and thank goodness I did, because it really does a huge difference. Shocker, I know. Run your mouth, guy. Run my mouth. Okay, I will. You're a fucking idiot. Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> You're an idiot, you cunthead. You won't even finish this race when I'm done with you. Shit, you better go pit. You ain't gonna catch my ass. Tell you that. Give me the high side stick. And you might need to put on some ties for that one. Yeah, an angry 17, who I assume was not getting out of the racing line. The floor was up there. And is now threatening retaliation. Yeah, he's just blocking the racing line. Way off pace. I just don't get it. to pass them on the low side, unfortunately. Well, what kind of name is Dirk, anyway? Stay low, do the car on the high side. Good fucking baggers. I'm gonna find you to clear. Get you with, bud. Keep on your fucking car stuff. <laughs> 17! Where are you coming from, bro? You wanna, you're like the bottom number in the... <laughs> in the single split! Woo! A loose. Step down. Jacob, I'll, Jacob, I'll say hi. You go low. Take the high side, Nick. I really wish guys would... I lied, there's 18. Is now 1.3. Well, some kid is good to bad! Hi, Jacob. It's hard to talk. <laughs> this is a... 23.8. ...challenging to race. Car is getting a little looser on exit. Feels like. Um, anyway, I'm having brain farts because of what. It's, I feel like I'm getting dumber listening to some of these people, but uh, guys just don't realize that most tracks you go high to get out of the way because most tracks the bottom line is the preferred line. This is not the case. Top line is the preferred line. So what do you? I mean, it makes sense, right? You get out of the lane that's fastest for the leaders that are coming by. That guy still run the high line. I don't know. I don't know, man. The wheel's like coming off the desk again. Fix that. At least we got uh, room behind us. You know, it's, uh, get caught. The guy in fifth. We got our nice uh, fourth place right now. Feeling pretty good. Hopefully we don't get a caution because of guys You're clear, clear. not getting out of the way for the lead lap guys and then lead lap guys not being patient enough to just go around or retaliation from 17 because I don't know reasons mad at each other calling each other bad names I 
Alright. Take guy side, Jacob. What's happening up there? Stand forward, thank you. 18, that's kind of what I was wanting. I was wanting the top when I caught you. I ain't what the fuck on the bottom. <laughs> uh, I was just trying to give you as much room as I could, buddy. I was already up there, so I figured I'd just hold my line. Kidding, kidding. I guess it is Therefore, about you time. get 18. We got to work that. The lap time was at 23.8. Go ahead, Pitt. Is it a good idea to pit? I don't think so. I'm not pitting. No way I'm pitting. Gap to Bok. Didn't caught a lap, like two laps down. No way. Inside. Clear. I doesn't even really feel all too bad. I'm sure we're way off pace like what we did at the start of the run, but... Actually, I don't trust these guys to be able to keep it green to do green plug pit stops. No way. That was a 23.6. So I'm not catching someone up here. Go ahead, low late, Jacob. Someone other than uh, <laughs> the slot card. Right down the back. Oh, oh yeah, she's right. They want you in single file. Oh. Closed. Pit road is closed. Please get, get on the desk. It looks like you can't. Ah, take your pitch out the lap down there. Four car. Anger. My my. Just enough fuel to get us to the end. Yeah, for my biggest pet peeve is just if you're in the league path for the leader, people just hold their line. We can get it's around them, just hold their damn line. Nice car is out. Another single file. Halfway in the right. It's all good. It worked it out. It's all good, bud. Okay, Don't worry about it. Halfway home. Fuel looks good. Pit road's open. Of course, yellow. It's all open. I'm going to be the lucky dog, so I'm going to come high around you. is pitting now. Pit lane speed limit is 40 miles per hour. It's fine, you got loads. I could cut through the pits here. That seems kind of sketchy though. Box in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Box now. <sighs> Slow enough, just in time. Where are we at tire wise? 78.82, so it's pretty even. Okay, continuing racing uh, how I am. Didn't fall off too bad either. All clear, punch it. Looks like we passed the guy. Single file. Pass the number four. Man, I didn't want the spot. I don't even know why I wanted to get by him, because now I'm just on the inside. Alright, so back on fresh tires. Remember how it races. We're still going to be good on fuel. You've got loads of fuel. Loads of fuel. I don't know where the 11's going. I don't think we had anyone that stayed out. I think we just got the wave around. So that's good. No one trying to be crazy. I don't know. Maybe the inside line's good because you can get a better jump down here, maybe. And then uh, file in to the outside line. It's kind of what happened that other restart. That was on the inside, and I just immediately got to the outside. Worked out pretty well. I got one, two, three, and four, all in the top four. Battling it out. I don't know if I have the speed to keep up with these guys, though. They all were well faster than me, it seemed. Especially that three, I never did even see that. They had figured out, I think. 
guess I could have looked at my temps. I probably could have put more tape on it. One to go. Next time by. I don't think it was ever even an issue. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that while I'm thinking about it. Put it up about three percent, so that way if we do have to come in for tires again later. It'll go ahead and do that. 18, don't need to be in front of you. Get ready, going green. Now it's telling me to catch the 14, which is in front of me. Be ready. Are we going to get delayed green? Yeah, I got to wait for these guys. Yeah, it's all screwed up. I think it's just going to get black flags. It's telling me to stay behind the 14. It did tell me to let you buy it, and then it told me to catch the 14. Back in third. Keep hot point. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Alright, get the outside back. And I remember how to drive. P3. So wreck it on the front, wreck it on the front. Oh boy. Yellow flag. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed right now. We're doing so well, guys. Two. Car. Pace cars out. Line up single file behind car number two. We're under caution. Pits closed. Pit road is now open. It's open. Getting into these laps a little bit. Just noticed uh, the catch fences here. They have them in the corners, and they have them uh, on the front here, where the stands are. But there's no catch fence on the back straight. Did we catch the field? If uh, if Cup Series ever does want to come here, they're gonna have to put those up. I bet. Assuming this is inaccurate. Lucky dog outside. This is a current inaccurate representation of the track. I wouldn't know. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. I want to see over there. We got. All I can see is some trees. Sightseeing. <laughs> it's open. So I got to be careful of tire spin because it does seem like once we get higher rev, it uh, starts getting a little unsettled. Excuse me. Is that not too green? Man, lots of pace laps. Reading into the rest of this race. Surely it's two to go now, right? It has to be. Hold on, that guy's got flames on his car. I'm pretty sure that he should not have made it through inspection with those flames. That's extra horsepower. I don't know if that's a, that's a legal car. I'm watching you two. Pete Road is closed extra right now. flame We're horsepower. It's closed. It is uh, two to green, thankfully. Hope the four doesn't feel I was too aggressive getting back to the outside there. I uh, got clear, so I wanted to get to the preferred lane. I don't think I cut it real close or anything, but did uh, make my uh, assert myself up there. And finally, we'll be getting back into our places. One left to green. You'll be lining up okay, on the blue side. Race the regime at the end of this lap. Where you at, nine? They still can't figure it out back there. 
Nine's just coming around the track now. He's still in the front strut. Oh my god. Get ready. <laughs> Going green. That sound like this was single split and they're having some issues. Car is off. Be ready. Caps newer. Got too good of a start. Oh my god, don't black flag. I almost got black flag. Can't pass on the left before the start finish line. Clear outside. Man, that doesn't happen too often where you get too good of a start. It hurt me too. So I had to let off and then now I'm back here and forth, but that's fine. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed. Sorry, I tried to lock it down as like best I could and it just kept rolling. And some of the guys in the back are having trouble. Pace cars out. Line up, single file behind car four. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Almost black flagged myself on that start there. Yeah, I thought it was pretty close. Got a better jump than I expected. Alright. I kind of wanted to say that, because I wanted to make sure that is definitely how it works. Like, even after the green flag's out, you can't pass on the left. Got it, guys. Going in. Two freaking eight to four X's from him. Lucky dog's coming up high. Lucky dog coming on the outside. Well, we are in fourth now. <laughs> we'll get the outside. How close it was. I probably won't remember, but if I think about it at the end of the race, maybe I'll take a look, see how close it was. It really, I actually had to hit the brake before I got the line, or at least I, I left off, I let off, I know I did that. Some people, if they're wanting to play dirty, like the number two could have purposely let off even a little bit more, made me get a black flag. That's pretty sketchy. I've heard of people doing that before. Pits are open. Hmm. So oh, more pace laps. I feel like we have just like one extra pace lap than we need. Every time it feels like it should be too too uh, green, it still says pacing. But uh, for real this time, we're at two degrees. Pits are closed. Just checking, just checking the fuel. I knew there was no way. I mean, we were going to make it if it went green the whole way. So there's no way we're going to run out if it was under caution. But I like the ease of mind. Just checking, checking in. So I don't really use these tires much at all. I can tell. Does 4 have some damage on the right side or is that part of the design? I think that's part of the design, maybe. It's hard to tell. I think he's, he's got some damage, yeah. Once I get closer, green. I can tell. Up on the green 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 next time by. We got that Toyota in front of us. We got the uh, Chevy in the first place. What we got over here? Yes, I think that's also a Toyota. No, it's a Camaro. Okay, so that's a Chevy. So, Toyota's on the outside row. Chevy's on the inside row. I just pick random manufacturer. I don't have any preference. Whenever I buy a car. Green 
Green flag, green flag. Hit Ross. Oh, I guess it up a little bit too much. In the mid corner. Or it's gonna cut in. That's fine. I can be patient. Remember how to drive. It feels like it's been forever. That light was out. 23.1. One more patient on the throttle here. A little bit too hard. Got uh, fresh tires, but doesn't mean I have to use them all up at once. Your lap time was 22.7. Made me shit my pants there, bub. Uh, really? Me too. I don't know why. It just keeps snapping low. Flat footing it. Be gentle with the truck. Even there, I was not even flat footing it. I nearly spun myself. Because the car was actually getting looser during the initial run. I'm kind of wishing that the tires uh, in the rear were a little bit hotter. Oh, I ain't really sent it in. Number nine. He was a lap down before. All right, He's back. Keep an eye on the oil temperature. It's creeping up. Oh yeah, I added that, uh, no I didn't, I haven't added the tape yet. You've just done a 22.8. I want to not put the tape up though if they're going to start complaining about the uh, temperature. I thought during the first run I didn't hear anything about it at all, even from my sensitive brew chief, so that's probably why, so that's why I was feeling okay to do it, but now that he said something, I'm kind of like, doop, doop, doop. I accidentally hit the shifter. Oh my god, don't do that. I literally just accidentally hit the button. I pretend uh, that didn't happen. I didn't blow an engine or something crazy. Ooh, got a little sideways there. Fine. Break a little too hard on it, really. It's flipping. myself wishing this nine was back a lap down. He's pretty fast. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Car inside. The gap in front has increased. It's now Clear. about 1.0. Go, you were faster, go. It's coming off the desk again. That is not something I would prefer to be doing while I'm driving. Just that it has never quite fit very well. So when I'm on, the, I'm on these uh, tough tracks like this, it really becomes a problem. Yellow flag is out. Watch out. Yeah. 
Come on, and if, if everyone comes in, but even if one person stays out, I think we're staying out. That didn't feel like too many laps. Pit road is now open. Four course yellow, pits are open. All right, everyone's going in. Look out for the pit speed limit. It's fine, you got loads. Well, guys, we got like eight seconds to catch up here. Box in five. Okay, start, start, finish line. Four, three, two, one. Box now. Look at dog outside, look at dog outside, boys! That guy's really excited about being the lucky dog. Fix my wheel. Let's see if I can actually stay. Okay, go. All right, maintaining our spot. Looks like. Line up, single file. Catch that four car. What were the tires? Your engine temperatures are okay. It's All clear on engine temperatures. And five ninety-seven. So. I'm glad I came in since everybody came in. If there was any doubt, uh, I think we would have been okay. Thankfully, I don't think anyone near the back took the chance. We just didn't have very many green laps, <laughs> even after that little run we had there. Oh, the nine! I just realized the nine lost a couple spots. They must have had trouble getting out of their pit stall. Because I just remembered I wasn't in fourth; I was in fifth. Let's see if they can charge back up to us. Probably they're pretty good. They're pretty fast. Kind of getting late, though, in this race. In the race, and it kind of looks like it's getting late on the track. Looks like the sun's going down, potentially. Unless it's like early morning or something, I don't actually know. Does it say on here? 7.48 p.m. So yes, it is a uh, evening race. Full course yellow, pits are open. I wonder if we'll finish this thing at night. Be kind of cool. Lights might be coming on here before too long. One left to green. Crack. Line up on the okay, outside. Contact. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Eight, come inside. <laughs> they still can't figure it out. They're still having troubles getting things figured out back there. About to go green. Stay focused. Those darn pointing arrows are Keep confusing them like. Which way is it pointing? I don't know. Here behind us. Go high. Whoa! Yellow flag is out. Line up single file. Oh my god, what are you doing? Hey, car. car is out. Where did you come from? Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number three. Car. I had to look for it. I don't know. Did it come down? Are open. I didn't think we even touched. It looked like you got loose in my city. Oh, stupid ass net here. Where did that guy come from? I can't pit right now. We just have to hope this doesn't affect us too much. Where did you come from, 8? I thought I was clear, and then all of a sudden you flew in next to me. Yeah, I didn't see you either, man. Um, I, was, I went down to the apron to avoid that wreck. 
When I came around, the car went hold up. You was up there, probably bumped a little bit. I got gotcha, you. I see. Uh, it'll be interesting to see on the replay. It's probably pretty entertaining. That was. Uh, <laughs> that's fine though. I understand. Yeah, copy that. <laughs> that was a weird thing to say. Ah, I'm so awkward. Why did I say it would be entertaining? I was trying to get a point with the idea across that like I'm not mad. Like, haha, that was. That's kind of funny. But I think it kind of sounded me make me sound pompous. <laughs> like, oh, you're so dumb. You did out. that. That's not what I meant. Oh, I hope he doesn't think that's what I meant. not knowing what a lucky dog is, thinks he's uh, coming up to the outside, I think. <laughs> oh, wait. I can find out. Let me see my RPMs. Let me see if I can... Uh... We're good. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. Looks like I'm still at 2,000 for the RPM, so it doesn't look like I'm off pace, but uh, just in case I am, I'll just be aware. I'll keep a line. Pit Road is closed right now. We're under caution. Pits closed. No, copy that. Just letting them know. I got damage. Yeah, I might be in the same boat. My right front's crinkled. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Now we gotta start from second. That's not my favorite. So the four is still an eighth. Okay, and the two is still a ninth. So they're still there. Eight's car driving like a little puppy trying to get his first bone. Look out. <laughs> okay, that's the guy hit me. Get ready, going green. The pace car is off, be ready. See, man. And I'm bad at starting second, but we're fine. P2. Holy crap. What are they doing back there? I wonder if this is going to affect my car out dynamically at all. Affect the turning or anything. This nine's fast, man. He could win. I bet he knows that too. Just pushing too much on exit. Inside. Stay high. Delay this. Clear. Now the only thing I'm worried about now, because it seems like the car's driving pretty well is uh, the temperature. I'm hoping that uh, the airflow is still going through there pretty well, because otherwise we might be uh, having some overheating problems. So these two guys are a little bit too fast for me, I think. I'm not too concerned about them pulling away. If I can get myself a podium, that'd be fantastic. Got sideways. 
that lap time was 22.7. I, s I think this thing got loose, looser from this damage. It feels like. In front is now 0.9. The oil temperature is getting a bit high. Oh no, that's scary. Okay, I hope we're fine. Temperature. I feel like I might be able to. I might be okay though. Even if the temperature starts, starts getting high, I feel like I should be okay. Just lift off a little bit more. I think I can make it the rest of the way. Got a nice second and a half gap behind us. Please no more cry, uh, Rex. That would be fantastic. Wheel coming off the desk again, as usual. Right, John, usual. I can't speak today. I'm sorry about that. Mine's in the wall. Get on the desk, you loser. P3. 4 7 trouble getting back up, looks like. Just done a 22.9. That temperature is scaring me. I might start lifting off more. Yeah, it pulls more to the left on the exit, it feels like now. So we're gonna roll the corner a little bit more. I think we'll be okay. The gap to case in front is now 1.5 seconds. Hey, this might actually even be faster. Rolling the corner more. Maybe I should have been doing this all along. Go ahead, dude. Alright, six laps to go. Picture looks like it's stabilized. About uh, 250 over there. I'm looking at the oil tap on the bottom left. We got, we got a 0x still, even after we got hit by that guy. We got some lap traffic coming up. We've seen how that's gone this race. That could make the ending of this one pretty interesting. Man, we're catching them already, huh? Fifteen looks like they're out of the way. Stay high. Clear. You've got two laps to go. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. Jaeger is gaining on you. The gap is now 1.5 seconds. All right, we should be good on temperature. Looks like we can bring it in. Bring it around town. Good race and good win. Colton, great drive. That's There's podium. the flag. It's over. Thank you, guys. I know there are more than y'all know. Good job. Very good job. <laughs> All right. Bring it in. Good one, brother. Can't think. Thank you.
No, I think he was pretty fast. What, a bot? I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> That's a little bit of some, a little bit of an assumption there. Oh, you can thank uh, Eight for that win. I don't know about that. Unless he was like blocking him at the end, I didn't see that. Whatever. Anyway, ended up with ninety-five, ninety-six on the tire. That's pretty good. Good race, guys. See thank you for the race. Ah, the throat tasting people. That's fun. Oh man, what happened there? Sound like Neko or did they really get into him? That was weird. That was pretty strange. It looked like they were close but not doing anything. And then he just got hit to the side. That's not very cool. I'm really glad my damage didn't hurt me in the end. Oh yeah, the four kind of getting loose. Man, that was crazy. He uh, looked like he had it saved, and then I guess he just got on the gas hard, and it uh, wasn't having it. Oof. Good save, though. Teen little tiny baby tap of the wall. Bigger tap? Nope, not even a tap. Keeps getting real close. There he goes. Oh no. That just sent him around. I think that was a caution too. Two into the wall. Okay, so that's how I was able to get in, in front of him. Okay. I remember that restart, I didn't realize he hit the wall. Uh oh, wall riding. Doesn't work on asphalt. Maybe dirt. Not on asphalt, sorry. Bump. I don't know about that low line here. Yeah, having some troubles though. There you go, maybe if you want to pass, you can get done. That was real fast. Well, he also did that, though, too. <laughs> well, at least, at least he backed out of it and didn't fully kill the guy. Open the wall. It's pretty tough. This is pretty tough racing, having to ride along the outside line like that. That's way too hard in. I can just hear it from his throttle. Well, that shouldn't have been a caution, I don't think. I don't think so. I wonder if we'll see why the uh, 9 was mad at the 8. Go 7, 8, 9. Uh. Thirty-three. Lots and lots and lots of wall hits. It looks like in this one. Move through a little faster. We got lap traffic being a problem. Fifteen just doesn't get out of the way and then breaks way too early. Can't really blame them for that. I mean, it's one thing to take a the leader's line, but you know, if you're way off pace and you're gonna hit the brakes way too hard in front of the guy or something, like you're just asking you to to get hit. Seen it in the wall. I heard him getting some complaints during the race. I'm wondering what, I'm wondering what that's about. A little bit of a fight. Two having to go around the 14. Me having to go around the 14. <laughs> Man, none of these guys. None of these lab cars are. I mean, that was, uh, okay, that was lead lap, never mind. I was like, man, none of these lap cars are ever getting out of the way. But, uh, these guys are fighting for position. 
Oh no! Save it! I saved it. Lost a ton of time though. Some of these guys seem like they're just incorporating the wall hit into the part of their line. 17. So is this what the argument was about? I'm curious what the 17 thinks. He's doing right here. Like, what, what are you doing? I mean, I, I think he was just mad because four called him stupid or something, but... <laughs> We're gonna get the wall? Sure is. Maybe he was in the middle of arguing at this time. Lost focus. I have to just get past some of these wall hits. Nine's driving in hard, a bit too hard. Well, maybe not, because it apparently worked out for him. Looks like he got through the corner pretty quick still. That's well into the wall. It gets real tight on exit sometimes. Sure. Interesting. Is this what the nine was mad about? You can thank eight car for that W. Let's see. I mean, eight's off the wall, but kind of just drove into him too. Didn't lift at all. Just ran into him. Sooner blame it on the guy that's refusing to lift. What is the, <laughs> the 15 doing? I, I, I mean, I guess I can see what they're doing. They're trying to let people buy, but the nine's trying to pit. And he's blocking the engine. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> the nine. No wonder the nine was mad. He's had some run-ins this race, I guess. I mean, he still beat us. He was very fast. A little better luck the next time. Sure. He chooses to race again. Oh, no. The 5 gets loose on exit and gets the 15. Ooh. But he pays for it most in the end. That was definitely not a soft hit. That's going to be some damage. Not sure why we're seeing the nine here. I think nine really just knew how to use those fresh tires to the, his uh, most advantage. He was really using that lower line, diving it in hard. He had that figured out. His setup might have been set up to do that too, you know? Like, that might have been something I couldn't even do with the setup I had. That's the tricky part about open setups. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. That could have been much worse. He gets into the wall a little bit. Team loose on exit. And into the infield wall. Those fans had a front row view of it, but they were kind of just staring off to space anyway. The car using the wall line. I guess, what do I know? I guess the wall riding technique does work here. To a certain extent. Oh, that's a blown engine! Interesting. Did they put too much tape on it? No, they had front end damage. Find a blue on him. Did he stop on the track and cause a yellow? Are you serious? I don't know. No, this is during yellow. This is already during yellow that he blew his engine. They were just catching up. Right? No, that's green. Okay, sorry, the lighting's messing with my brain. Yeah, it's green. Let's just bring out a caution. Shouldn't. He's on the apron. Now we're good. 
Okay. Or are we? It looks like it switched over to caution here. I'm curious what caused it then. It was something else or what? Because now we got caution. I think it did just barely cause a caution, him stopping on track. That sucks. <sighs> oh well. He didn't do it on purpose. I don't think it should have. He was on the apron. But Don't just stop on the track if you can avoid it. Oh, this is the wreck of the lead. That was net code. That sucks. I mean, maybe the, I, I the four might have come up and got him anyway. But then we had to squeeze through. We're going to analyze this one real good. <laughs> I couldn't slow down in time. I was too close to him. So, I'm hitting my brakes. Hopefully I squeeze through. I just choose to tap the wall. And I don't know what the eight's doing. Like, what? He's not paying attention, I guess. Probably looking at his rear view at the wreck. Yeah. Just so, uh, there's no turn on that flat surface down here, so maybe he didn't just, it just wasn't turn as much as he thought. Thankfully it didn't hurt us too bad. And it didn't even give us an X, so. Should probably pay a little more attention, but... I guess no harm done. Oh my gosh, they got into each other again? Oh no. It's green flag and they're stuck behind these guys. And so four tries to take it four wide but can't quite... Or three wide, not four wide. Tries to take it three wide but can't quite fit it in there. So he has to back off. And then kind of turns left for some reason. I'm not sure what that was about. They found each other again. So, that might have prevented them from coming back up and catching us again. It's curious. Team sends it in way too hard. That was a hard hit. Probably got some good damage out of that. Pay to win setups. He didn't win. He lost to a free setup. How about don't pay to win? Pay to get third place, I guess, in my case. Or don't pay to get third place. That is where I bought my setup, apparently. Don't pay to win. Don't pay to... I'm confusing myself. I sound stupid. Let me stop. <laughs> Alright. Lots of wall hits. This has been a very long incident report because everybody's just touching the wall. Including the eight. And number three with a win. Three earned it. They were very fast. Nine wants to talk about how you can blame the eight, but he was still second off at the end. And the three was fast, so... No, nah, I think three deserves full credit for the win. They kept it, uh, kept it clean and did what they needed to do. Next thing I want to do... Look through the restarts. find that one where I almost black black myself because I said I was going to check that out. It's not this one. Uh, gosh, it's all jumble around here. So we had so many pit stops next to each other. That's it. Not hit because we're on the outside. Realize that sooner. I think this is it. Yeah. Dude just got a horrible start. 
Oh my gosh, that was so close. That was even closer than I thought. Wow, I'm really glad I let off how like I did. Wow. I don't know if that could have been any closer. That's like photo finish levels of close. This is so important because if I get black flagged here, if I'm not mistaken, that's like a drive through penalty or something. Like, that's a big penalty because it happens during green. Wow. I racing might have even just given it to me because <laughs> of how close it was. Sorry if this doesn't interest you, but it very much interests me because this is pretty crazy. I mean, it's all because the two got a really, really bad start, but... You see, I'm lifting off here. I'm completely off the gas. Is that the line? No, that line's a little better. Ooh! Man, I can't even slow it down. I'm like, I was ahead of him. I was ahead of him. But iRacing gave it to me. There must be a little bit of leeway in the code. And it gave it to me. Thank goodness. That would have been bad. Alright, so. That was the incident. That was that uh, restart where I almost black flagged myself. And thankfully I didn't because I was able to pull off the podium here. Uh, thanks in part to... Well, thanks in large part to those two guys wrecking uh, with a little bit of a little bit of net code assistance they also kind of actually did it <laughs> so that was that but uh, hopefully it was a fun race I, uh, to watch I enjoyed it I enjoyed Lucas Oil Raceway it was a cool track very unique in a lot of ways so uh, I'll see you next time thanks for watching